One of the world's rarest species is a step closer to winning its fight against extinction. Millions of dollars has been spent on trying to help the endangered orange-bellied parrot. And now, thanks to a long recovery program, the bird's doubled its wild population. Tyson Shine explains. The orange-bellied parrot's bright and cheerful disposition hides an uneasy feeling about its future. It's critically endangered and on the brink of extinction in the wild. Last summer, only nine pairs migrated to Tasmania from South Australia and Victoria to breed. To increase numbers, 24 captive birds were released at the species' last stronghold at Melaleuca in Tasmania's southwest wilderness. And we had three releases staged to introduce the birds just at a small numbers at a time. Melaleuca's wild birds taught their captive counterparts to forage and migrate. 34 have made the return trip which may sound like a really low number, but it's, it's about double what we had last year. Numbers have been hovering at about 20 since 2009. More needs to be done to improve the species' chances. The wild population has again been artificially increased with 27 birds released this month. Millions of dollars have been spent on a national recovery program. Previous releases on Tasmania's west coast failed because there were no wild parrots to teach the captive birds how to live. We still have wild OVPs at Melaleuca and that's why we're now embarking on a series of translocations to try and make sure we get the species over the line before they go extinct in the wild. Preparing the birds for release is no easy task. They also go through a fitness regime for three months. Melaleuca's return rate gives hope this colourful bird won't have a future confined to zoos and aviaries. Tyson Shine, ABC News.